Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Hollow Knight and what may well be the final episode of Hollow Knight. Um, I'm going to give some tries today to the Nightmare King Grim boss, the thing we tried at the end of the last video. I'm willing to bash my head against this wall for quite a while. We're going to see how it goes. If this is the thing that's going to take me like five to six hours, as I've heard it has for some people, I'm probably not going to do it. I'm not too bothered either way, but I would like to. So I'm going to give it a few tries now. Um, you guys can join me for the first few, I suppose. It's one of those bosses again where I think I just need to to keep jamming in the tries and kind of pick up on the patterns again, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you my charm setup. I've got quick slash, I've got unbreakable strength, and I've got quick focus, which I think will be really useful as well. It's a shame that we lose two slots because the Grim Child, because the Grim Child doesn't do anything, but I know I can't access this boss without the Grim Child, rather annoyingly, so kind of uh, hampered a little bit like that. Let's give it a go. Can only go well. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> I do love it though, it gets me pretty hype. I'm getting absolutely shredded. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Um, I don't know if life without long nail is going to be worth living. I've decided for now, I, I, I bashed my head against it a while. It's a really, really, really hard fight. It may be too hard for me. I may not be good enough as a player to do it. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not giving up on it. But it's the kind of thing I need to kind of throw myself at over, I imagine, several days. Um... So what we're going to do instead for today is we're going to go focus on what I assume is the end of the game. So we're going to go down to the black egg thing and try that out and the final boss and all that kind of jazz. Um, I'll show you my charm set up again just before we get there. This is my, what I would say the best set for me is at the moment. Unbreakable Strength, Mark of Pride, Long Nail and Quick Slash all together is a lovely combo. I wish I had one more slot so I could use Nail Master's Glory. Because that is quite slow. And I know there is a one more slot out there in the game, so I could go in theory get it, but I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. So, we have defeated the three dreamers. Let's head to the Black Egg Temple. Is that what it's called? I hey, it. Temple of the Black Egg. I'm impressed, little ghost. You've burdened yourself with the fate of this world, yet you still stand strong. To break the dreamer's seals would alone be considered an impossible task. But to accept that void inside yourself that casts you as something rather exceptional. Thanks. So what goes on next? Oh, no, I'm scared. The path is opened. One way or another, an end waits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That space is built to sustain your likes. Its bindings would drain me were I to join. Don't be surprised. I'll not risk my own life in your attempt. Though if the moment presents, I'll aid as I'm able. Okay. Bye, Hornet. Bye. <laughs> it's very spooky. Not totally sure what to expect here. In the void. Okay, useful. Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hallow Nest will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable inventory. Oh, right, cool. Uh, ninety-four percent. I believe the max percentage is actually 112% because of DLC and stuff like that. Well, it's nice that we've got a rest spot right there because I'm assuming <laughs> this is the boss chamber. Oh god, hello. I'm glad that's what I was meant to do. Oh god, he's waking up. So this is the one who was burdened with holding the void back, initially, I guess.
the Hollow Knight. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good start. Oh, it's quite similar to, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. <laughs> ah! Bloody hell, that was quicker. Okay, oh, right, all right, I get it, I get it. He's got an aggro mode. Okay. <laughs> when he starts stabbing himself wildly, he seems to um, get a little bit trickier, to say the least. things. Alright, I have to be much more careful here. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Can I hit you during this? I'm not going to risk that. That seems silly. Let's just be careful. I mean, that must have been tons of damage. Oh, hey, Hornet. Get the... Oh, dreams, dream think. Dream think. Okay. Thanks, Hornet. Need to heal. Where, what the hell's going on? Challenge? Challenge what? There's nothing here. Whoa. My little, my little knight. Oh, hello. The radiant. Oh no, it's got a full title screen. Oh no. <laughs> That's never. Okay. Oh god, that hit for two. I hate when they hit for two. It's like a platform challenge. Uh, not sure how I feel about these spikes, buddy. Oh wow, okay. Alright, alright, I get it. Risky, but it worked. Oh, very risky, but it worked. Bloody Nora, I've been hit in ages. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh. Okay. As soon as I, I just started taking damage and damage and damage, and I just. <sighs> okay, interesting. So I wonder if you can kill him. I wonder if that's like a optional boss. And that you can kill him when Hornet grabs him? Do you always have to fight the Radiance? I don't know, but we're going to, obviously. It's got a full page title screen, it's a baller. <laughs> the problem is that we have to fight Hollow Knight every time. But Hollow Knight's not that bad. Well, I shouldn't get cocky. <laughs> I 
Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, come on. I just feel like he's got a lot of opportunity to absolutely womp on him, you know? Yeah, Hollow Knight really isn't that big a deal. This thing, however... <laughs> this thing, however... Whew. Oh, that was stupid. Ah, come on. Nah, I'm just, I'm being an idiot. Horrible, horrible little situation. God damn. Again, I just, I kind of had that little period where I lost tons of health and it just, it messed me up. The interesting thing is, Quick Slash, I don't think helps at all here. It's really, really good for Hollow Knight because obviously I'm just whamping away at him. But I'm not sure it's actually any good for that. I kind of want to use... Um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try Quick Focus instead. Because I think Quick Focus is going to be way more helpful against um, Radiance. Than... Because um, I feel like... Because I'm jumping to hit it, right? And you don't get multiple hits in anyway. So let's see if we can do Hollow Knight like this. First of all. Because one of the reasons Hollow Knight's dying is obviously... I can hit it so fast. It's such a difference. It really is. It feels so slow. Oh my god, it's so slow! Oh, I'm playing like an idiot as well. Oh, I'm nearly dead. I can't play quite as aggressive as I have been doing. It's definitely harder without it. I'm hoping it's gonna pay off now. I don't I don't know if I like that though. I think I might just swap back. Fuck. Oh I don't know, that is very helpful. That's hard for me. Oh, come on! Oh, God! It's over then. <laughs> it's not over. <laughs> oh, really didn't think that was going to get me. Oh! Thank you. 
No! Oh! No! Oh man! Yeah. Okay. Um, I need I need quick heal. <laughs> I'm not doing that bit about quick heal. Jesus! Horrible as it is. All right, I thought I'd done it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Hollow Knight is so much harder about it. I mean, it's because, partially because I'm playing so aggressively. I'm not playing any differently without it than I was with it, you know? Which is very stupid. <laughs> Just womp away at him. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, there we go. That was really good. Uh, this is an easy fight, though. Must be sad. This, however, is fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, fuck that up. Even with quick heal, it's sometimes very, very difficult to find a heal time. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. I have no, I have no, I have no soul. I have no soul. Okay, well at least I can, if I can consistently get to this phase, then it's a step forward, right? Oh no, no! Ah. I, was, I was holding down like I could somehow crouch through the bloody thing. Fuck me! Horrible. I don't even know what that was. Ugh. Nope! Nope! Ah, I knew I shouldn't have gone for the heal. If I could find a way to heal without having to do anything, like, is there a way for me to heal and not have to touch anything? <laughs> Um, I mean, Hive Blood, I guess, and I don't really like... I, the, I'm considering Sharp Shadow over maybe Long Nail. I think Sharp Shadow could be really useful, actually. I don't think Long Nail's particularly helping me. I'm going to try Sharp Shadow. I think Marker Pride's really good. I think Long Nail and Marker Pride together is fantastic, but um, it's where if you can use one of them, you use Marker Pride, you don't use Long Nail. I just want to try it out. Okay, I'm playing terribly.
be all right. Go on, Hornet, get him. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on Sharp Shadow the more I think about it. Let's see what happens. It makes my dash longer, which sounds good, but to an extent it might make it harder to to know. You know, it might mess up my timings. Fuck. Ah, I just couldn't get away in time. Not a chance, not a fucking chance. into this face with so little health, you know? I can't remember you not allowed down there. <laughs> Times where where quick strike looks really useful, like like that bit. There's uh, there are times where you can fuck me. Nah, I'm dead. I don't know. I might pick it. I might pick it back up. I reckon I can do a lot of damage if I just get in the right position. Plus, it makes this first phase a lot nicer. Oh wait, what did I? Oh no, because I need to drop quick heal if I want that. Oh no. Maybe that's okay. Um, maybe I don't want it. Maybe what I want is Nailmaster's Glory instead. I guess we've taken the Grim Child. Hmm. I don't know why I won. <laughs> I mean, is it worth having like the Grim and the the Weevilings and kind of like have them darting around, hitting it? Because it, it's obviously that it's that second phase I need to think about, right? More than anything else. Oh wait, I can take Quick Heal though. I think if I could just focus more on dodging, I might be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a go. I'm not convinced by it. Must be said. I'm, I'm not, I'm not that convinced. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Do I have quick strike? No. All right, because I'm gonna try this instead, which quick strike doesn't really help with. Get him, boys! <laughs> Is obviously, there's no way these things actually do any damage, so... <laughs> I 
get hit by that far too much. Maybe I can just entirely focus on Doctor. Look, I can be like super careful. I'm not sure the Weavelings are doing anything, must be said. Go on, my child. Oh, fuck off. an idiot. Yeah, I'd rather much more health than this, really. It's better than last time, but not by much. Because I always respawn in the same place. That was bad. That was terrible! My god, I just hemorrhaged my health. Yeah, I don't think I can live in a world without quick heal on this phase. No, yeah, no, I need quick heal. I'm dropping, I don't like this, it's, uh, it's an idea. It was fun, but I don't, I mean, especially the Weavelings, just don't do anything, I'm pretty sure. So I want Quick Heal. I really want Quick Slash, but I just don't know how I'm going to ever fit that in. I'd have to drop. I can't have Quick Heal and Quick Slash. Because I don't see a world where I don't take Mark Pride and Unbreakable Strength. I've got five slots. Ah, oh, it's pain. What if I drop Marker Pride for Long Nail? I don't know if that's worth running on its own now. Do I need it? Let me think about this. How much do I need it? I think I need Quick Slash. I, I, I do. And I obviously need Unbreakable Strength. So those two I think have to stay. It's what else I take. I just, I don't like that phase without heal, but then I can't. I need one more notch, man. I'm gonna try long nail instead. Oh, it's so much worse though. See how it feels. I might just go get that over charm notch. I know there's one more out there and if I had one more, I could have my perfect build. Get out of this corner, please. I'm nearly dead, bloody hell. I mean, I was playing like an idiot, but don't get me wrong. health by moving into this phase. Let me just try that out as a theory. Get the yeah, I should do. I think dream bosses give you full health. Okay, so I don't want to heal there. Okay, that's good to know actually. Oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, so bad. So very bad. Nope.
so terrible, terrible. It's just played awfully. I don't think I think I'm okay without the nail though. Oh, fuck off. Something's gone on. Oh, whoops. Oh, the void is moving. Careful. What's going on here?
No, I can't skip the credits, so I shall talk over them. Um, okay. Uh, that that try was super easy. <laughs> I finally remembered which platform the Radiance appears on um, when he starts phase two, and he didn't fly away, so I just stood there and hammered the damage in. Absolutely hammered the damage in, and he clearly just couldn't get away. And I, I did the entirety of phase two damage on a single platform, so <laughs> it was a it was actually a really easy attempt as it happens. Um, Okay, so what just happened at the end? I think I'm dead, right? But we were born from the abyss. We were a creature of void. And we were chosen by... I think the Dreamers knew we were coming, right? And we were chosen by the Dreamers. I think the idea is simply that the Dreamers were... Okay, so let me think about this. The Radiance is responsible for the infection, right? The Radiance is the infection, essentially. And it's in the dream world causing the infection and all this kind of jazz. And it's kind of leaking through. Um, so the Radiance comes and it creates this infection that takes this once beautiful hollow nest and kind of turns it into disaster, right? To contain the infection, um, the Free Dreamers locked it away inside the Black Egg Temple. Temple of the Black Egg. And they had the Hollow Knight there to kind of defend it, I guess? The Hollow Knight... Contained the, the radiance was inside the hollow knight and they locked okay so the radiance is inside the hollow knight and as in the guy we fought just before the radiance and the three dreamers locked away the hollow knight inside the black egg temple in an attempt to contain the radiance um i suspect what you maybe do on the typical ending i think we got like a special ending there i think the typical one i assume is you kill the hollow knight and you take the infection into yourself you become the new hollow knight and basically, I think the problem was that the Hollow Knight was getting weaker over time and was fading and the infection was beginning to spill out. And so the Dreamers kind of, I don't know if they recruit you, I don't know how you were chosen per se, but you were born from the void. Even though we kind of came to town from the top left, I think that was kind of tricking us into thinking we were a real boy, but we were born of the void. It's kind of like Elden Ring, where we were the tarnished, chosen. It's the same kind of idea, but in this case it was... Um, um, the, the, the abyss creature, the void creature was chosen, created into this night, and we went around to destroy the dreamers, because they knew that they were losing grasp of this world, right? They were losing, they weren't able to hold back the infection too much longer, so they wanted a strong new vessel to take over, which was me. Um, 27 hours, jeez. And what we did instead, I think probably because we got that Void Heart thing from the Abyss and found out our true meaning and- Oh, No shade, no reviving, death is permanent. No thank you. <laughs> but because of that, we, um, instead of uh, taking the infection into ourselves, we- I think the other Void creature at the end was the Void creature of the Hollow Knight, as in the tall Hollow Knight. Um, and we were able to split open the... We were, first of all, we were able to fight the Radiance, and then split open the Radiance and destroy the infection entirely. And then, because that was done, because there's no infection anymore, so Hollow Nest can, in theory, return to normal, um, I guess the creatures of the Abyss are no longer necessary. The Void is no longer necessary, and that's why they kind of folded into themselves at the end there. Uh, Hornet survived, but our guy has to die because the Abyss is done. You know, it's done what it had to do. It's how I'm interpreting it. I'm sure there's a lot more to it, but that's how I picked it up. Um, I don't think I'm probably gonna go back and do the the the. Uh... Oh, I kind of want to though. I'm gonna. I'll see how I feel. Um, if tomorrow's episode is not Hollow Knight, it means I've probably decided against it, or I've decided to take a bit of a break. Um, we completed the game. We beat the Radiance, which is quite a hard boss, I think, and uh, had a lot of fun. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful. I've kind of hit my end with it, I think, now. You know, I'm kind of done with it. I don't have any desire to go back and do more. And I think that's okay. I think sometimes it's kind of like I'm, I'm battling with this desire to kill this this Grim Troop boss. Because he looks like a really fun boss. And I was learning it slowly. But I also don't have this innate desire, I guess, that some people might do. I'm kind of trying to pull away from my completionist desires. Because um, they've been very, very over the top in the past. I don't need to do literally everything. I know there's like this god mode content in this game um, that adds, like, <laughs> there you go and you kill like 50 bosses or something, and we're just not going to do that. So that's okay. It's, it's okay to not do absolutely everything. We've done the vast majority. I would still call this 
not a complete completionist run, but I still call it a completionist run. Generally speaking. We did near enough everything. Um, can I load in? Yeah. Guess that loads in just before the boss. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful game. Fantastic music, fantastic art style. I knew when I first started playing it that this game was going to make for a really good thumbnail. <laughs> and hopefully you've enjoyed the thumbnail. I only just made it yesterday, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of weird to do this because you guys haven't seen the first episode of this series yet. I'm actually... Funnily enough, Book Snacks and this have both been fully recorded before you folks at home saw a single episode. And I'm going to start the next series, <laughs> uh, probably today actually, I've got a few games in mind, so... It's a bit of a weird thing for me, but um, I absolutely adore it. I can see why this is one of the best ranked games of the last 10 years or so, why it's overwhelmingly positive on Steam. It is... Dare I say it? A perfect game? I, I can't really pick a fault at it. If I had to. Um, I mean, to say that it's a perfect game for me does not mean it's... I mean, I say it's a perfect game. It can't be a perfect game for me because I don't really have this desire to go and do more. Why don't I have that desire? I, I think that's more because that's just not who I am, though. I don't know if that's a slight against the game. Like, Elden Ring. I adored Elden Ring from the bottom of my heart. It's one of my favourite games of all time. If not my favourite. And I, I haven't loaded the game up again. I haven't gone to explore every nook and cranny. I tend to find that when I've completed... I tend to do as much as I can before I beat the final boss. Because when I beat the final boss, I tend to be done. I don't tend to then go and clear everything up. The little niggly things along the way. And that's why I do so much before I get to the end. Because if I know... I kind of like a capper, you know, I like that that's the final thing we saw. It was a nice, beautiful end to the story. And I think doing more kind of takes away from it in a little bit. And I, a lot of this channel is about experiencing stories and stuff like that. And um, I guess I kind of treat it like a story in a way. So I think that actually, actually I've kind of convinced myself now that I'm probably going to be done with Hollow Knight now. But there is a sequel on the way. It's coming out next year. We'll definitely be playing that when it comes out. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I had a lovely time. <laughs> episode 3, I just uploaded it. I'm looking back at it and thinking, I just, I got warmed everywhere. It was a disaster. Um, I was getting really frustrated, but I find that with a lot of games. Like Bug Snacks as well. The first few episodes, it didn't quite click, and then it kind of, I got into it and I fell in love with it. And uh, this is probably in now my top 5, 10 games of all time. It's not typically my style of game. I don't play a lot of 2D games, I don't play a lot of Metroidvania games, but um, it's absolutely gorgeous, and the music, and the gameplay's tight and controlled and it's got varying difficulties to challenge you know if you want to throw impossible challenges at yourself if you're that kind of person you can do that i'm i like hard without super hard so i guess that's why i didn't do path of pain or the grim night um nightmare grim because i think they were the top level of difficulty in the game basically and i'm probably one step below that in who i am as a gamer <sighs> Though I would back myself to do any of it if I threw myself at it, but I'm kind of not... I don't know if I'm that person anymore that I want to... I don't... I think Mulaney has ruined me a little bit. <laughs> and that I don't really want to sit here for six hours trying something anymore. You know, I want to go do other things. And I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. My ego is taking a bit of a hit, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, anyways, beautiful game. Highly, highly recommended. Unlike a lot of games I play... Um, Whilst this one does have a beautiful story, it's all very environmental and stuff like that, but it is very much a gameplay first game, and it's a game I absolutely would recommend. Like I, I said after Bug Snacks, um, it's a it's a beautiful, it's a really good game, but I think playing it yourself after watching someone else play it would maybe lose some of the charm. It just wouldn't be the same experience. I don't really get that with Hollow Knight. I think the gameplay is so fundamental to it that you could enjoy this game even if you'd watch someone else play it already. It would lose a little bit, especially in the early stages, because that mystery and exploring is a really exciting part. But because the fundamental gameplay is so tight and so well made, um, I think it works regardless. Either way, had a lovely time. Thank you very much for joining me for this series. Hope you've all had fun as well. I'll see you for the next one. Who knows what it'll be? I have no idea. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.